welcome and hello. This is Sister Victory. I just want to say I am so grateful for the Most High, what He is doing in my life. And this is a video that was on Facebook that Dominique shared. Uh, you know, she uh, shared a lot of her life as far as what she was doing um, with her life. Things that I don't, I share my life in a way that's where we different. I share my life in a way to encourage, to uplift, to warn with people, but I don't necessarily, uh, I don't come from a time where people just share everything they do. And, you know, people even share as far as sitting on the toilet with people. It is just, <laughs> just so different. But, you know, when we can share things, the Bible says, for we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies. Now I'm going to be dealing, talking about Dominique this month because uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, for one, um, her story, uh, she lived her life. She pretty much posted on Facebook every day. So she definitely told a lot of her story, but just to speak on, uh, what Dominique was like as a child, um, as being her mom and the things she's been through and why a lot of the, the reason why this LGBTQ thing is dangerous because people put on so many facades. We, we read in the paper uh, about suicide, you know, people that appear to be so happy. So life seems to be so good and doing well. And then they commit suicide and you're like, well, we thought they were doing good. That's because we're not honest with people. and We're not honest with people because, number one, people don't want you to be honest with them. They don't want to hear truth. They don't want your truth, and they don't even want their own truth. So I'm just going to share this video, and I will be coming back with more in Yahshua's name, in Jesus' name, just to share and hope that somebody is being blessed by these videos, somebody who... If you uh, have been living a life of homosexuality, be it a lesbian, uh, be it a, a homosexual, you know, and you know that you may have been raised in the church, you may have learned uh, from family members about what the Bible says about this, and it does call it an abomination. And over in Revelation, it says all the abominable. She'll go to the lake and fire. And we don't serve the Lord because we're in fear of him. That's the respectful part. But we serve him because he came and he died. Jesus, Yeshua died. That you may have the gift and the right to the tree of life. He came to give that to each and every one of us. And the devil is out here deceiving so many people. Any sin, if you steal, it's a sin. And you can go to the lake for fire for that. If you lie, because it says all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burn with fire and brimstone. Even if you're lying for other people. Let's get it right. He's always given us a chance over and over again. It's told in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, what you called by my name, where is people? So I'm just going to share her her little joyous moment. Dominique always, she was like a big kid of heart. She always had a smile on her face and she always laughed and she seemed to take everything so well, even hardship. It would, I just couldn't believe how resilient she was as a child, how she just come back from some of the most awful things. But I realize now, though that may have appeared to be something good, but on the flip side of that, the other side of the coin of that, you're holding these things in and you're not casting your cares upon the Lord like his word says. So you can only carry so much of this pain and suffering and hurt before it just consumes you from the inside out. And she also shares how this spirit of homosexuality, my daughter wanted to change she wanted to change so bad, but she also cared about what other people thought about her. You got to get so in love with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. So turned out to him that it doesn't matter what anyone said. Do you think Daniel cared about what anybody said? Do you think Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? We got to have them kind of spirits because, oh, it's coming. 
You better start preparing yourself. And if you don't start being faithful to him in the small things, how are you going to make it when we get in the red? So I'm just going to share this video at the end. Um, just going to play it. And I'm just hoping that it encourages you that we can't just be about material things in our life. And though she did a beautiful job, um, for her to be a 36-year-old woman before she left here, she had achieved so much and had nobody's college degree. She was a, a Wilson Sport, a Sporting Good uh, supervisor. She made a supervisor, didn't have anybody's college degree. Hallelujah. But she was taught good work ethics. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful that I showed her and taught her those things. She bought her a $300,000 home before she left here. She had the cars, the kind of car. She liked sports car. She liked that revving. You know, that's just how she was. But she had so many good qualities, you know, in her. And she loved so deep as she loved you. And, you know, had your back. She was, uh, one thing that I admired about her is she wasn't fake, you know, she held so much in, but she wasn't fake. If she felt a certain way, she would let you know. And many people, I'm, I've, I've taught her that. I've been that way and continue to be that way. I realize, though, people don't want to hear the truth. So you got to learn to leave them alone. That's something I have to work on it every day. Even, even though you know somebody's going down a destructive alley where somebody got a bat and about to hit them, people don't want to be warned. So all we can do after we give them a warning is stand back and pray. Sometimes we won't even be allowed to give a warning. Just pray. So I'm going to play the video. Blessings. Shalom. I got my baby, y'all. Look at her. My baby. I had to bring her to my boy's shop so he could check her out. She fresh, boy. I'm going to love her. I'm going to put some tin on her. I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to treat her. I got my baby.